the agents representing the political parties, national and international observers, members of the diplomatic corps, my colleagues, the chairman of the electoral commissions from East, West, and Southern Africa, representatives of the various security agencies, the media, national and international, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, I welcome you all to the formal opening of the 2023 Presidential Election Results Collection Center. As some of you are aware, collection of presidential election results in Nigeria is done at four levels. After the conclusion of voting, counting and recording of results at the various polling units. The results are first tallied and collected at the 8,809 registration areas or wards. The collected ward level results are tallied and collected at the 774 local government areas nationwide. Thereafter, they are tallied and collected in each of the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. The collected figures for each state and the Federal Capital Territory are finally collected here in Abuja, where the announcement of the outcome of the election will be made by the returning officer for the presidential election, who also doubles as the chief electoral commissioner of the Federation. And this is a duty that I'm privileged to perform, and it will be done here at this day. As we commence the concluding processes, it is my duty to explain the procedure and set the ground rules for the proceedings as follows. One, all accredited agents, observers, the media, the diplomatic community, and security agencies should adhere to the sitting positions assigned to them. Two, results for each state of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory shall be presented by the state collection officer for the presidential election, or simply put, the SCOP, who will also serve as the collection officer at state and the FCT level. After collecting the results at state level, the scope shall be accompanied to Abuja by the resident electoral commissioner and security agencies. On arrival at the collection center, the scope shall be received by the collation secretariat, which shall organize the sequence of presentation. The returning officer shall invite the scope, the state collation officer for the presidential election, accompanied by the resident electoral commissioner to the seat we are going to provide to my left for the presentation of the result. The scope, following the format for the presentation of results, shall loudly announce the votes scored by each political party in the state, including reports of cancellations and areas where elections did not hold 
if any. The returning officer then invites comments and observations, if any, from the polling agents. The returning officer requests the scope to submit the original copy of form EC8D. When all the scopes have presented their results, the returning officer shall display the same copies of result sheets EC8DA which is the summary of results of elections on state-by-state -state basis. The ECFE, the declaration of results for the election, and EC4TG3, summary of registered voters in the polling units where elections were either cancelled or not held. And I will have the privilege of displaying the blank forms before proceeding starts after the receipt of the reports from the various state collection officers. Next, the returning officer shall complete the ECHDA and announce the votes for by each party and thereafter will invite the polling agents to endorse the form. The returning officer then completes the EC40G3 and compares it with form ECADA to ascertain if any of the candidates have satisfied the requirements of the law to proceed with declaration. If satisfied, the retirement officer completes from ECFE and makes a declaration of winner. And finally, the retirement officer invites the agents of political parties to receive duplicate copies of the ECFDA and ECFE which is the final declaration of results. Having set the ground rules, from today, the collection center is hereby declared open until the final determination of the 2023 presidential election. During the course of proceedings, there may be interlude or adjournments this will be announced by the returning officer as the need arises. As soon as any of the scopes arrives, the process of collation will begin. Once the process begins, the collection center will be open all day and all night, subject only to short breaks as may be announced by the returning officer. The official results will be shown on several screens here at the collection center. There are a number of screens on the left and right. Um, there is also a giant screen behind me on which we'll be projecting the results that the scopes are presenting for collection. I appeal to all political parties and media organizations to draw their figures only from the official results released by the Commission as the only body constitutionally responsible for releasing official election figures. When the scopes arrive, they will sit in the open. So there will be seats uh, at the end of the hall. To my right, you see black leather chairs. That is the holding area for the state collection officers for the presidential election. And 
and then by the side to my right, you will see a table there. That is the collation secretariat. And the collection secretariat is directly under my uh, under me. So everything that we are going to do here will be done in the open. There is no other room where any other procedure is going in outside this hall. Yes, we have our situation room, but that is just the situation room for the commission. But once collation starts, everything begins and ends in this hall and in the open. As the collection of results um, progresses, the commission may find it necessary to brief the nation on matters related to the election, but unrelated to the collection of results. When the need for such briefing arises, it will not be done here in the collection center. A media center has been prepared in Asoho, right behind this building, but within the premises, these premises, for such briefings. Asoho has actually been prepared, prepared as our media center. So what we need to make briefings unrelated to the collection of results, it will be done there. So we maintain the sanctity of this form, essentially for the collection of results, and matters arising from the collection of results. Where I am unable to personally brief the media, the National Commissioner responsible for information and voter education, sitting to my immediate left, Barista Festus Okoye, will perform that responsibility. So as we await the arrival of the scopes, we will now take a break and resume at 6 p.m. We are certain that by 6 p.m. Uh, one or two of the scopes will arrive with the results. So we begin the process of collation. I thank you very much. We resume at 6 p.m. God bless you. As Chala has announced, proceedings will be suspended for a few hours and will resume here at 6 p.m. On that note, I thank you all for coming uh, here for the formal opening session of the National Commission Center. We thank the Special General Police for coming. We thank all the um, shared persons and shared men. Commissions of six African countries. We thank all the members of the political parties, the leadership of the parties, the party events. We thank all persons from the diplomatic corps who are present, all friends, 